All right, we're out here on dove hunt this morning. We were goose hunting yesterday in this field, and we just happened to notice about 200 doves and 100 pigeons working this field. So it should be a pretty good shoot this morning. But uh, yeah, I guess it's hunting you never know, but we're already seeing some. So I'm probably about as confident this morning as I am any morning. Going out, turning on the spinners. Got a few dove decoys out there. I brought four boxes of shells. I don't really want to use four boxes of shells to kill 15 doves, but who knows? There could be a lot of pigeons in this field too. So it's going to be an exciting morning full of a lot of shooting. Two in one. I can two in one shot. Did you? Yeah. I got that on film too. They turn our direction. Kill him. When the doves short you and land 60 yards out, gotta do something to get them up. Action's been pretty crazy. We were on the fence line. They didn't really like that too much. The pigeons, the pigeons are easily decoying way better than the doves. But then we kind of just took our panel blind out in the middle of the field. I don't really think they care. And that's made a pretty big difference. We've killed, I think, eight, seven. eight doves and seven pigeons. And uh, I think all but one of them were since we moved out. So definitely moving out in the middle where they want to be is we had a big difference. God, we love it when the pigeons start coming in because you know they're going to do it dirty. Wait, wait, they'll be here. Kill. Nice shooting. Dude, they veered so hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. This hole, this hole. Kill it. I don't know what we got on that last one, but the hell around. Okay, we got one there and one there. One dove there, one dove there, two pigeons. Two pigeons and a pigeon one. Yeah, that one just got up. No, just legs up there. He's been kicking the whole time. See, mine didn't cycle that one either. There's two pigeons circling up high to the leg. Those are pigeons. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Kill it. I think we got it on that big one. Let's go again. I think we both went. <laughs> I'm behind this guy shooting. Just see if he circles or not. Right. Nice shot. Hey, we have four dogs on the fence just like you. Splitty, new dove hunter, he was behind everything. Told him to put a bigger lead on him, started putting a foot lead on him. Now I think he's four for five. <laughs> so we're starting to kill birds now. The uh, good shooting is contagious. So I think we got a little over 20 birds, doves and pigeons. So uh, 7.30, so we still got a, what, probably another half hour to an hour of good shooting yet. Another tip, oh so, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> when you're dove hunting and pigeon hunting, you're gonna shoot a lot of them, they wing, and they kind of go down in the fence line. They're gonna try to coast until they get to some cover. Um, so what you're gonna do is if, so we've got a cornfield in the fence line behind us. We've got two of them in that fence line. And if you went right away, as soon as you saw them drop over there, they're gonna get up flying in the cornfield. You're never gonna find that bird. So what you do is you get a bead on them. Say one lands right there. You get a bead right there and you, you know, remember where it was. And then 20 minutes, half hour later, you go walk over there and it'll probably be dead. It probably will be dead after a couple minutes, but you just wait a while. By the time you go over there, it's dead because 
you got no chance of finding a live bird. Oh God. I tried to um, hit reverse on my camera because some doves were coming in and, oh good, that tractor went somewhere else. So doves were coming in and instead of hitting reverse, for whatever reason, I hit stop recording. So we just got another one and, oh, here comes one solo. Yeah, there's one up to the right too. Oh, he got it at the end. I think I hit it twice. Anyway, what I was saying before we just got bombarded by doves, um, you've got no chance of finding a live bird in there. So if you see one go down right on the edge, keep it beat on it, go back 20 minutes later because it'll probably be dead when you get there. Because if it's not dead when you get there and you go right away, you're not going to find that bird. <laughs> you know it's a good day when you go looking out for one bird and you just find a different bird you didn't even know was out there. We just just had a mallard do it up dirty in the mojos in a wheat field. Oh, it's coming around again to get down to it. I want to get this on video. Splitty, that is not a teal. <laughs> all right, you know it was a good day. Yeah, there's a couple shells over here. We're going to pick all these up, don't worry. Few shells over here and quite a few more shells in there. Some from so, goose hunting. Yeah, somewhere from goose hunting. Splitty wants to make that known because uh, otherwise it looks like we shot really, really bad, which we... We shot, I would say we shot decent for dove hunting. But anyway, we're wrapping it up now. And actually, oh my God. <laughs> Frick, yeah. If you don't think pigeons like the mojos, well, there you go. We got the truck walking around. They can't stay out of them. It's ridiculous actually. But anyway. I, I was gonna say this wrapped up the hunting portion of this video, but then we just shot something, so maybe it doesn't. But now I'm pretty sure we're wrapping up the hunting portion of this video. I'm gonna go get home, cook up some doves, cook up some pigeons, see which one's better. I'm pretty sure that they're both the same. Uh, pigeons are just maybe about twice the size of, as far as meat goes, but gonna go clean them, cook them, and get to eating. Yeah, he wasn't going anywhere. We might not even be able to put all that in YouTube. <laughs> Alright, I'm cleaning them up now. Nothing special. Breasting them out. Or plucking them. Peeling back the skin. Just taking each breast one at a time. Got a few to go yet. Flying beef tips. Alright guys, now we're going to start the cooking portion of this video. Pretty much just going to deep fry them both. Try them. Compare them, see which one's better. I think the dove might taste a little better, but I'm guessing they're gonna be really, really similar. So we got a little dove, and a little bit of a bigger pigeon. We're gonna tenderize them, bread them, and fry them up. Need a little comparison. This pigeon's got a couple of BBs in them, but pigeon's probably twice the size, especially with the thickness, these doves. But I mean, these doves, they're, uh, they are a little bit more of a red meat, but they're almost like a chicken nugget when you fry them. All right, now we got them tenderized. Now I'm just gonna get some breading. For breading, uh, I'm just gonna find some flour and some seasonings. I'm not gonna make anything too fancy, but really you can use whatever breading you like, whatever you like for your fish. That doesn't really matter. It's pretty much all gonna taste the same. Alrighty, I uh, just Lowry's, um, some gluten-free flour and cayenne pepper is all I'm using for my breading. And I'm even gonna put an egg wash so that it uh, sticks on a little better. I cut the pigeon in two pieces, so I got the dove here. And they are going in the grease. Got the two doves on the left, or the two dove breasts, and the pigeon on the right. Just flip them and give them a little over a minute on each side. They're looking good. Alrighty, I'm thinking they're about done. We're gonna have to get these guys out and give them a test. All right, guess we're gonna have to give a shout out to the uh, Milwaukee Emeralds who hooked up my little brother with this plate when he went to a game a few years ago. We got the dove on the left, pigeon on the right, obviously ranch. I think they're gonna be really similar, but I do think the dove is gonna be a little bit better. All right, try the dove.
Honestly, when you bread it and put it in ranch, basically everything better than ranch tastes the same. It tastes good. That's why I bread things and put them in ranch all the time. But I, it doesn't have any like spectacular flavor, so it's good. All right, trying a little piece of the pigeon. The pigeon definitely has more flavor than the dove. I don't know how to describe it. It's good too. I think that's the bigger part of the pigeon. Maybe a hair gamier, but I kind of like it because it has a little more flavor. They're both. Maybe if you fried them like the steak, you could tell a difference. But if you just bread them and put them in ranch, you're not going to tell a difference. Just like anything, it tastes like chicken. People always say it tastes like chicken because chicken tastes like nothing. Chicken tastes like whatever you do with it. Same with this stuff. You bread it and put it in ranch, it's going to taste like anything else bread and put it in ranch. So works for me. It's fun to go out and hunt them. And I like to eat them. All right, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, had a blast, as usual, making all these videos, especially today. It was probably an extra fun one, dove hunting, that constant action. If you want to see more Catch and Cooks, let me know. We got some new t-shirts coming out on September 18th or 17th, wherever the opener of deer season is, uh, in celebration of that. So keep an eye out for those, and we will see you in the next video.